today. Today we're going to do lesson plan 10, grade 7, um, term 2. The topic is multiply common fractions and simplify. It links to DBE worksheet number 37. Just quickly show you and then we're going to come back. Um, this is then the link to the CAPS curriculum and here again parents, teachers um, go through the dictionary part so you can have some background knowledge if you need to support your child. Then we're going to come to the mental mathematics. You're going to ask the 10 questions. Um, so it's time now to pause. Welcome back. I'm going to reveal the answers. You're going to mark it. You're going to check it and you're going to discuss it. Let's then go to the introduction for today. So today we're going to first look at the simplification. So we're going to simplify um, and then we're going to carry on with the concept development. So this is revision. So first I'm going to take six quarters. Now if I simplify six quarters, it can be three halves. So what did I do? I divided the four and the six both by two. So four divided by two is two. Six divided by two is three. Or I can take the six quarters. That's an improper fraction. And I can change it into a mixed number. So what did I do there? I say four goes into six one times. There's two left. I'm going to write it there. Two quarters. So one and two quarters. Then I'm going to take the two quarters and I'm going to simplify it. So I still got my one. I see two can go into four and into two. So two divided by two is one and four divided by two is two. So six quarters then simplified as one and a half. So what I want you to do is I want you to take the three and a half. And what will happen if I write that as a mixed number? Well done. If I take the three and a half and I write it as a mixed number, I can say two goes into three one times. There's one left. So it is a half. So the answer is also one and a half. So when you do this example, six quarters, you take this example. When you take three and a half, you get this answer. So you've got two different ways to do it within this one example. So I want you to pause and then do the two examples separately on a piece of paper. Well done. So here you saw then the answer of the second part. So on your paper, you have to have both these. Well done. So let's quickly look at the concept development. I'm just going to move it up. So what we're going to do is we're going to say two quarters multiplied by six halves. So we multiply the denominators and then the numerators and we get then 12 eighths. What we're going to do is we're going to simplify it by dividing by 2. Am I correct? So if I divide by 2, I get to 8 divided by 2 is 4. 12 divided by 2 is 6. No, I can even simplify it further. So my highest common factor is not 2, but it is, yes, brilliant, it's 4. So 8 divided by 4 is 2, and 12 divided by 4 is 3. So what did I do? I just had an extra step or extra thinking step. Nothing wrong because I still came to 3 and a half. Then I'm going to take this improper fraction and I'm going to write it as a mixed number. So 2 goes into 3 1 times, 1 is left, so 1 half, so the answer is 1 and a half. Please look at this note, 
that we can also simplify these fractions at the beginning and then multiply them. So I can say what goes into 2 and 4, it's 2, so I divide 2 by 2, it's 1. And then 4 by 2, it's 2. So I have 1 half. Here I can also divide it by 2, so 2 divided by 2 is 1. And 6 divided by 2 is 3. So if I then multiply those two simplified fractions, I get three and a half. So I want you to pause here now, and I want you to go through this example and do it like I did. Then a second example on a piece of paper, I want you first to simplify these two fractions and then multiply it. When you come to the improper fraction, I want you to write it then as a mixed number. Okay, so what I want you to do now is, I want you then to go to your worksheet and to complete the questions. Then I want you to do the problem solving and then the extra activities. Teachers and parents, uh, we're going to answer then these questions. If it's yes, we carry on with the next lesson. If we got no's, we revise, revisit, or we contact SA teacher.